there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs the Born Board Build for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about some more plans that have been unveiled as part of extra material for the brand new Extreme Spinning Coaster codenamed Robo Spinner at Plopsaland Pan. Now this is a brand new coaster set to open for the 2021 season. We've got a new construction image as well. All come from Plopsa updates on Instagram so big shout out to you for the planning images and the construction images as well. And we're going to be talking about them. So I'm going to talk about them. I'm going to share with you the stats and facts about this coaster for those of you who are new to the channel and have no idea what I'm talking about. And also I'm going to share my thoughts on the project for those of you who missed it before. And also share my thoughts on these new planning images. So before we get started, here is how you guys can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coast Child YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and on social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2,000 subscriber Q&A also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting if we do that I will release coaster channel merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long-term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So according to Plops or Updates who sent me these on Instagram Messenger, we have some brand new blueprints, some new area blueprints. Now he did describe to me that these are for the zone of the Extreme Spinning Coaster and the new coaster will have a food stall and toilets under the coaster section and also on the plan is a mechanical room uh, and basically I'm going to share with you a little image of the mechanical room on site on your screen now. Fan dabby dozy, the quote's back. Uh, so that right now on site is the mechanical room location. It will be right there for the launchers. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to walk under the curved Jojo roll and also under the double inverting dive loop. And also a little update on track appearing on site. He told me that track is planned about two weeks from now. So that is the latest then on the Pop Sign Coaster. Now for those of you who are uh, new to the channel and if you need some stats about this brand new ride. Well I put those uh, planning images back on your screen again. Uh, basically this new coaster is going to be in my opinion the most thrilling co coaster of... Um, Plopsalander Pan. It is by Mac Rides. It's a Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster. I'll say that again. And basically, this has a length of 3,018.4 feet, a height of 108.3 feet, a speed of 55.9 miles per hour with five inversions. We have a Heartline roll, uh, a banana roll, a loop, a zero G roll, as well as an LSM launch and an LSM boost. And this coaster will cost 15 million euros. So that, my friends, is the stats and facts on Robo Spinner, the codenamed Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster for 2021. And I also share with you twice uh, the planning images, uh, the new planning materials, which shows the food store, the toilets, the mechanical room for the launches uh, on the plans as well. So some extra planning material as well as some construction updates as well. So I showed you a construction image of the actual location of the mechanical room for the launches, again by Plops or Updates. So thank you very much. And also he told me that track is planned two weeks from now. So in two weeks, we're going to have construction updates where we see where we show you the track on site. And I'm sure Pops for updates, like he does uh, for the other updates, will send me some images uh, from the construction of track arrival. And of course, we'll be able to cover that here on the channel. But this is a project we've been covering for around about a year now this all started last year this all came about last year with the first rumors and then of course the official confirmation that this was happening and of course the fact that it wouldn't be a 2022 coaster it'll be a 2021 so we only have to wait one year for it uh now i mentioned in the past that i was originally going to prague with uni 
if that gets called off next year as well, I swear to God, I will personally go to Belgium and I will experience this roller coaster, hands down. Either Prague or Belgium, just something, something abroad next year. Now, obviously, I mentioned in the past, there's loads of trips I want to do in the UK next year. Obviously, Thought with Black Mirror Labyrinth, Alton with the Gangster Granny Ride, Blackpool with the Valhalla Refurbishment, Chessington with the Croc Drop, Flamingoland as well with the Ten Inverting Coaster, Tornado Springs opening day at Polton's Park. There's loads of projects. Pleasurewood Hills, you know, if they've got anything new next year. There's loads of things I want to do next year to make up for no trips this year. Well, this summer anyway. And... Basically, if I was to go in anywhere abroad next year, this would be the place, Belgium, because I could do the mega coaster at Wolby, Belgium, as well as this, this pop sign coaster. So, from the latest updates then, I can definitely tell you, and I'll reaffirm my points from previous videos, this is one of the most exciting projects to watch in Europe next year, arguably the best. And it's one of the best in the world as well next year, because it's one of them, for a coaster enthusiast anyway, it's one of the most thrilling coasters to watch construction of, ready for next year. Um, and 2021's already a bulked up year. Obviously 2021, hopefully we're in a time where a vaccine's been created and you know the virus gets stomped out f once and for all. Um, we keep the restrictions in place next year until it's completely gone. And even then we'll probably keep the restrictions in place until 2022, 2023 even. Um, but in terms of new attractions, it will be a bulked up year with loads of delayed 2020 attractions as well as the coasters from scratch uh, like this one, Wallaby Belgium, the inverted coaster at Grona Lund, that's going to be brilliant. Um, loads of projects 2021 and this just makes it even better. And from those construction updates, I get more and more excited each and every day. And it's definitely going to be one of the most exciting projects to watch, like I said earlier. Uh, so basically to summarise then, uh, we've got food stall, toilets we also got the mechanical room with the launches we saw that in the plans as well as well as a construction image on site from pops updates and also we told us that track is planned two weeks from now so in two weeks time we're going to see track start to arrive on site and hopefully within the next uh, two weeks uh, or after those two weeks uh, when track does arrive on site we'll see uh, track go vertical as well because you saw how quickly the track went vertical at Wallaby Belgium you know the track arrived and then boom it was starting up going vertical so Obviously very very exciting. We'll be interested to see what the track colour will be uh, Which could give us a hint as to what kind of theme they're gonna go for. Are they gonna go for more of a futuristic theme? Are they gonna go for a steampunk theme like the uh, the early station concept art that we showed you months ago? Uh, said to us, but it's gonna be very interesting to see what's gonna happen with that So thank you very much guys for watching this news update Make sure you like comment subscribe and for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Kittle in the Coast Life. Stay tuned later because we've got a very, very, very breaking news story from the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. My name is Coast Shell, Kittle in the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys then. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.